In the top stories, residents in the St. Michael district angry over police treatment, concern over illegal dumping, and a look back at the Top Gear Festival Barbados. Welcome to this edition of Nation News on Monday, May 19, 2014. I'm Natasha Beckles. Residents of Odessa McLean Drive are dissatisfied with how the police treated one of their own this morning. Reports are that officers were moving through the area when they saw a man acting suspiciously. The man, who was on the ground under police supervision, was eventually taken away in one of six vehicles that turned up after law officials had come under verbal assault from upset residents. Efforts to get a response from police were unsuccessful up to news time. Illegal dumping continues to be a headache for the Sanitation Service Authority and health personnel. One of the areas that has caught the attention of SSA officials is that close to Culloden Farm, St. Michael, the first official residence of the Prime Minister of Barbados. Public Relations Officer at the SSA, Carl Padmore, invited the media to the area this morning to view the garbage build up. It's what is here, uh, people came from the outside and dumped here illegally. And that concerns us. The SSA is working around the clock to improve our fleet, not only in terms of numbers, we're improving our fleet in terms of service. From the minister to the board to the management, working hard to ensure that people get at least one collection a week. When we do this, we have to pull a fleet off of that normal, um, the, the normal route and bring them here to remove this. Barbadians have been given a clearer picture of the status of gender equality in the country after the Caribbean Development Bank handed over a 116-page gender assessment report. It involved research, consultation, and interviews with 109 stakeholders in 59 organizations. It found that while Barbados was rated as a country with very high human development, it still had some way to go to improve the status of females. Addressing a workshop at the CDB's headquarters today, focusing on the report, Minister of Social Care Steve Blackett said the assessment had come at an opportune time when his ministry was in the process of developing an institutional framework which would initiate and coordinate its efforts to strengthen relations between the sexes. The Barbados Museum and Historical Society will be expanding its digital reach to ensure it remains relevant to young people. It's already on Facebook and Twitter, but it could soon be on Instagram as well. Director Alessandra Cummins said there were also plans to launch a more expansive digitization program to make images and documents more easily accessible. She was speaking this morning during a press conference and presentation to mark International Museum Day. Also speaking during that event was Minister of Culture Stephen Lashley. He said government would soon be launching a local and international appeal for funds to preserve buildings around the island, especially those in historic Bridgetown and its garrison. Also, you need to be aware that we will be continuing our efforts to ensure that what we have attained in terms of the World Heritage designation uh, is secured and we have put in place a number of systems to, to do that. Much of the work takes place through the work of the Barbados World Heritage Committee and of course the Barbados Museum and Historical Society is a member. Barbados now has a new human resources development strategy which Minister of Labour Dr. Esther Bayersuku says will focus on demand-driven education and training. Speaking at the opening of the HR Development Strategy Action Planning Workshop this morning, Dr. Bayersuku said major focus will be placed on the development of some job sectors such as tourism, agriculture, entrepreneurship, innovation, and research. The Labour Minister added that the success of the programme is one which depends heavily on collaboration between various entities. Through our labour market information system, which is also part of the strategy, we're liaising with industry, with employers, to see what the needs are, what the skills are, so that persons who are doing courses then are doing the right courses to actually get the jobs. Um, we also uh, have on board the Barbados Accreditation Council, and their part of it is ensuring that the, that the institutions that are training are actually accredited, because that's important. In sport. Whether they were fans of motorsport or not, the Top Gear Festival Barbados was welcomed by many from all walks of life. 
More than 12,000 Barbadians were on hand to view the thrilling last lap yesterday, and they were not disappointed. The final day of Top Gear Festival Barbados opened up to a massive crowd of spectators yesterday, as patrons who missed the first day of action were treated to a recap of the previous day's events. From the Supercar Challenge, to Formula One, to football. to the supercharged tractor. Speaking with Nation TV, demonstration manager for JCB North America, Neil Smith, gave a little insight as to how the custom build was realized. Well, to be honest, uh, this is a specifically built dragster. Uh, the chassis is specially made for us, the engine. There is a few parts off here that uh, do actually come off a of JCB, the cab, uh, the front counterweight, the rear counterweight, the rear axle, but everything else is specially built. And why did we do it? Because we can. This has been Shaka Mears, Nation TV. Formula One race leader Lewis Hamilton and American Global Rallycross driver Ken Block shared top billing, treating the crowd to a display of both skill and speed. Basketball now. Small to Pinelands have made it back to the finals. Just who will face them is anyone's guess. The preseason favourites predictably finished off their first round series after beating Cougars 86-64 in Saturday's Game 2. But there was no such luck for defending champs LSC who went down 82-69 to Station Hill Cavaliers in the Cooperators General Insurance Basketball Premier League playoffs. The title race in the Digicel Premier League could be over. Defending champs Barbados Defence Force Sports Programme got extremely close to securing a repeat yesterday, edging title challengers Pride of Gall Hill 2-1 at the Empire Club in Bank Hall. Mackeson Britons Hill Mall Magnum Tonic Wine Darrells Road 7-0 to keep their hopes alive, while Weymouth Wales survived a couple scares to defeat Pharmaceutical Plus Cosmos 2-0. And finally, Tara the California cat that became a YouTube sensation after saving a boy from a dog attack has been invited to throw the first pitch at a minor league baseball game. Video footage showed a dog dragging a four-year-old from his tricycle in a driveway in Bakersfield. Tara ran to the rescue, broadsided the dog and chased it away from the child. Now the Bakersfield Blaze want her to pitch in tomorrow's game assisted by her owners. And that's Nation News for today. It's available on our website, nationnews.com, on Facebook, Twitter, and on our YouTube channel.